Weekend Warriors Home Improvement Show, built by Par Lumber. When it comes to big or small projects around the home, Tony and Corey have got the know-how and the answers to make your life just a bit easier. Here they are, your Weekend Warriors, Tony and Corey. Christmas is coming up in a few weeks, Tony. That's true, uh, but first Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving, Black Friday is coming up. Oh, yeah, Black Friday. That's next, next week. Next week. Yes. I'm excited. It is the t- It is officially the holidays. I agree. We are going to Hawaii for Thanksgiving. What about you? Wow. <laughs> are you going to have pig in, yeah. in lieu of turkey? In luau of Turkey, in yes. luau of Turkey, yeah. <laughs> I am not going to Hawaii. I will be. I'll be home. Uh, but but there's uh, there's some family coming over to the house, so we'll be surrounded by loved ones and eating all of those, you know, favorite dishes that everyone eats. Good to celebrate the pilgrims. The pilgrims. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that it's more. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't either. Thanks for everything. History is not my history is not my strength there. Um, but I'll tell you what: when I think about Thanksgiving and how close it is, I immediately start thinking that the countdown is on. The countdown to getting all of my gift spot for Christmas is on. We are, like you said, we're just some weeks away. Yeah, I think we've done this show. A bunch of times over the years, talking about Christmas gift ideas for the Weekend Warrior. There are so many. Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a ton of them, and we always do it too late. I think we always come in middle of December and knock this show out because it's fun. We like to talk about gift ideas. But this year, getting it done before Thanksgiving is just going to help our listeners even more. So they give them some ideas. They can go to the store and get some really good gifts absolutely yeah you 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 want to have some time to kind of process the list that you have so you can decide which of the items on the list are the perfect items for the weekend warrior in your life and there is definitely something on this list for everyone i feel like absolutely well let's start it off yeah let's go we'll start with the first item there what do you got i've I've divided it up a little bit i've got some tools equipment I've got some workshop essentials, some accessories for your workshop. I'm going to tell the listeners here uh, something that they may or may not already know about you. What? Actually, I'm going to make you tell them. Is there anything on this list you don't have? Maybe. No. (laughs) The answer to that question, folks, is no. Corey has all the tools. He is the tool guy. And when I need something, he gladly will rent it to me. Rent. <laughs> Just kidding. If by give and then never get back, <laughs> you mean rent. Yes, this is great. I'm, I'm excited about this list. The first item on the list, tools and equipment. The, the first item on the list is a multi-tool set. Yeah, like a Leatherman or a Gerber, both of which are made here in Portland, Oregon. Did you know that? No, I did not know that, actually. Yeah, Portland, Oregon, Gerber... They don't make everything here, but Portland Leatherman's definitely made here. People think of it as stuff. as a as a knife, a pocket knife, but maybe you would refer to it as sort of a Swiss Army knife no. kind of thing. I would call it a multi-tool. No, I know you would call it a multi-tool, but I'm trying to separate the word multi-tool from the other kind of multi-tool, which of course is Oh, an electric, like electronic. Yeah, so, so we have the same name twice. So we have to separate their brain and take them down the pocket knife um, you know, trail. Imagine a pocket knife that has so many more things, scissors, pliers, a bottle opener, a, a so file. I, I mean, I feel like these kinds of a, a screwdriver, Phillips and common slot. When I Google search multi-tool, I mean, unfortunately, it brings up both. See, I told you. That's but, why we have to differentiate. The original multi-tool, though, was who made that? The orange thing. The orange one. Fine. Fine. Yep, it's a German tool. That's right. F E I N. Yep. Multi tool. But I feel like there's they call it an yeah, it's oscillating, an oscillating multi tool. That's correct. Oscillating multi tool. So I'm gonna go with that. An okay. oscillating multi tool is different 
than a multi-tool. Than a pocket, a than a pocket multi-tool? Yes. Okay, good. I like it. Multi-tool has many, um, many different uses. Yep. Many tools. different tools inside the tool. Yes. Yeah. That it, they're fantastic to have in the car, in your go bag, your get home bag, your emergency preparedness kit. It's kind of like one of those literally everything. It's not great at everything, but it's something that will get you by. Yes. In the moment. Absolutely. That's great tool to it. have Yep. Uh, when you're on the go. When you need it. Yep. Next one on the list is a cordless drill kit. This is like number one. This is quintessential, bare minimum, everyone has got to have a cordless drill kit. I'm going to give you some tips about purchasing cordless drills Okay, for your weekend warrior. If your weekend warrior has tools already and you're just looking to upgrade the drills, or maybe they have a couple of tools that, that use uh, batteries, but they just don't have a drill kit, there are several different types of drills. You have an impact drill driver, and in a, in a, an impact, sorry, a drill driver and then an impact drill driver. They are they do two different things, and I recommend having both. They're fantastic to have. They do different things. Uh, one has a ratcheting, you know, impactor that right. will right will do certain things, and then a drill driver is better for for other applications. We we can get into that later, but what I would recommend is getting a kit that has both. And then get a kit for your weekend warrior in the same manufacturer. If they have Makita tools, buy a Makita drill. Because the batteries are usually interchangeable. interchangeable. Right. And so if you're going in... And the chargers. And the chargers. If you're going in and buying something different that they don't already have, then it's like a whole other ecosphere of battery chargers and batteries that they can't interchange with each other. Right. So... Yeah, not to complicate things, but if you're looking at cordless drills and impactors, both of which Corey mentioned, you will also probably find a hammer drill and maybe even a screwdriver, which could be also referred to as a drywall gun. Uh, those are similar looking, but definitely um, more, more specific tools. Right. Yeah. More professional specific. Yeah, a cordless drill driver or an impact drill driver, those two are really um, sort of the streamlined tools yeah. that you that you would want to and have. And honestly, if you get a good drill driver, it a lot of them have functionality of hammer drill. A hammer drill is, they make specific hammer drills that are for drilling into concrete. They have a an oscillating in and out action that allows the drill bit to go into concrete. Right, right. And sort of a, a pounding, sort yeah, of a yeah, pounding. Yeah, exactly. So if if you buy a good drill driver, a lot of them will have a setting for that. Right. It's not the best, but it'll get by. I use it all the time. I have one. I use it to drill into concrete, and it does a fine job. I uh, wouldn't want to use it over and over and over if I was a professional. Sure, sure. But anyway. Next item on the list is a laser measuring tool. So put down the measuring tape. And pick up your laser measuring tool. That is one of my favorite tools. That My wife actually got me this a few years ago. And it's unbelievably accurate. I've had to measure for base trim. I've had to measure for carpet. I've had to measure fences. You know, your buddy calls you to come over and help them figure out their fence material list. I pull that thing out of my pocket. You don't have to... You know, most tape measures, I think the longest tape measure I have is 30 feet. Yeah, 35. Yeah. You go out to a fence that's 60, 70, 80, 100 feet. Now, all of a sudden, you're measuring out, making a mark, yep. measuring out, yep. making a mark, yep. and then adding it all together. I throw that laser measuring tool on there. Boom. Hit it one time. Tells you exactly. And a lot of them are accurate to sixteenths of an inch. Yeah. 30 seconds of an inch. So I think they're awesome. Yeah, you're not giving up accuracy, uh, but it is a lot easier to use. I agree. Yeah, for certain situations. Here we are sure. back to the multi-tool, but this time <laughs> an oscillating multi-tool. Yes. They make them corded or cordless. If your weekend warrior has a cordless platform, you should be working along 
in that direction using that same brand and style. But an oscillating multi-tool is a tool that does so many things. And it does a lot of things that other tools do. And this is a lot of things that there's not another tool for. Right. You know, for example, you can take this, which the blade will go flat down to the ground and you can cut flush with the surface of the floor. Very awesome. Yeah. If you're trying to install new hardwood flooring or snap click flooring around a door frame and you've got, you're going through a door frame, you take that tool with a scrap piece of flooring and you can literally flush cut the bottom of the door jam, boom, right to that and slide the new flooring under it. Yep. It works perfectly. Yep, absolutely. And there's very, cool. very few power tools that will do that. You can do that with, uh, you know, like a Japanese saw. Or yeah. Pull like saw. A, yep. Mm -hmm. Which is also a great tool, by the way. Yep, it is. But yeah, like you said, there are so few things that, that do it if, as efficiently as an oscillating multi-tool. And it's also, it looks ominous because the blade is sticking off the front of the tool, but it is actually very safe, very safe, harmless. You can put that blade right on your skin and it won't cut your skin. So it's, it's, it's a great tool yep. to have and great for a weekend warrior. Next one on the list is a portable workbench. Man, oh man. I, one of my favorite things that I have in my garage that I use all the time is a foldable workbench that folds out and the legs will go one way and you flip it over and it's actually a, a bench and then you flip it over and it's a stand. So I can stand on it. Oh, really? To work above my head, like if I need a little bit extra and I don't want to stand on a ladder. Sure. It's just like two foot by four foot little... Uh, very versatile. Stand, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's one of my favorite things, and I absolutely recommend anyone for a weekend warrior. Portable workbench is a great tool to have. Stud finder is irreplaceable. You have to have a stud finder. And I'm not talking about that little tool with a magnet in there that flips flips around when you when you slide it over the top of a metal nail. I'm talking about a tool that's that is locating a stud behind sheetrock and it it tells you exactly where that stud is at right where the left side of the stud where the right side of the stud and the center of the stud and uh you can be extremely accurate putting fasteners in to sheetrock with one of those tools they even make these wall sensors they're actually like way better than stud finders that will tell you if there's water pipes in the wall if there's electrical in the wall those things are sweet you're going to pay a little bit more for those, but if you got a weekend warrior that has everything, that might be the way to go. Yeah. Next one, Tony, is a compact air compressor. This tool to me is invaluable, especially if you've got a million projects going around your house like we always do. Being able to take an air compressor with you, plug it in where you are. What I would recommend when buying a portable air compressor is look at the decibels buy one that has lower decibels. The one that I have sounds like a Chinook helicopter taking off in my house. Yeah. No joke. It is so loud. I know this, so I'll throw it in another bedroom and usually run the hose under the door and let it run in the other room because that thing is loud. Have you heard or seen operate the new cordless Makita air compressor? I have not. Very awesome tool. Is it quiet? It's quieter than some air compressors I've heard. Well, have you heard mine? I have. Yours Mine's is loud. Yours is deafening. Uh, but it's very cool and, of course, runs off the same battery platform as their other tools. Oh, this battery. Is a, this is a very, very cool tool. Next one on the list is an angle grinder. Angle grinder is, again, it's, it's more of a specific use tool. You can cut with it. You can buy cutting wheels. You can buy grinding wheels or even polishing wheels. So... Having an angle grinder in your tool arsenal, the Weekend Warrior ha doesn't have one, it's a great idea. You can also buy those corded or cordless. Again, if you're buying something cordless that uses a battery, I would do some research on what kind of tool platform the person you're buying for it already has and just try and stick with that. Now, the only caveat to that is if they have an older system. 
right? If they've got a uh, DeWalt system that is sure. ancient, mm -hmm. that has the old battery types, the new one that you buy won't use that old battery type anyway. Right. So if that's the case, maybe look into upgrading to a newer setup like Makita. Yeah. Makita's new platform and their batteries are, in our opinion, the best. Yep. Second to none. That's so, my opinion. Just something to consider when you're buying for your weekend warrior. The next item on the list, Corey, is a wet, dry shop vac. Yes. You got to have one. Shop vac is actually a, is actually a brand name. It is. <laughs> Did you know that? It is. Um, uh, so, but a shop vac is a, is a great brand of product. Wet, dry um, vacuum is, is a very cool tool, very versatile, uh, really is sort of a shop tool, but can be used, uh, in the, to, to clean out the car or to clean out the garage or anywhere in the house, any also outside those, uh, very versatile and priceless in my opinion, hundred percent in the wet dry, they make them dry, like that only allow you to suck up dry goods, dry things. The wet version of them, when you can have both, I think is the way to go. You want to get the one that does both. Yeah, wet dry it, is the way to go. Yeah, if you've got a flood or something, you can use your shot, wet dry shot vac. You have to take the filter out usually and then uh, install the wet version of that to capture all of the, yeah. the trash. But absolutely. 100% buy that. All right, moving on. Some workshop accessories. Less power tool, more like... Yeah. Accessory. Accessory. Right. <laughs> Got it. Still tools, though. Yeah, absolutely. LED work lights. 100% the best thing that anybody can buy for anybody if they don't have tons and tons of lighting. I mean, even if I have probably four or five LED work lights... I could use another one. Are you thinking like, I just want to picture it in my mind. Are you thinking of like a trouble light that has a little hook on it? To sure. Sort of hang somewhere. That's the thing. So or are you I thinking grew... about like a light on a tripod? Both. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I grew up in my dad's garage. He was a mechanic and I worked in the garage with him. As you can imagine, holding the light a lot. And he had one of those trouble lights that hung from the ceiling from a coiled thing and he would grab it and hand it to me and I would be the the light guy. And it was the old school incandescent light bulb and the thing wasn't terribly bright and I just had to shine it wherever he was looking. The new trouble lights now are most of them are cordless. They just they have a, a nice battery in them. They charge and work for hours. They're LED. I'd recommend one of those. They make LED work lights that have magnets on them. Amazing. Mm-hmm. They have them that are headlamps. Amazing. I mean, there's just so many different variations of things. I would, yeah, all of the above. Makita's LED work light that we have in the workshop, in the Weekend Warriors workshop. Thing is a beast. Man, that thing will blind you. It yeah. is so bright and so awesome. I absolutely love that light. You can't yeah. have enough light when you're working on a project in your house especially in the wintertime. Right. When it gets dark at five o'clock and you're coming home from work, trying to work in your home, you need bright light. Right. Absolutely. LEDs the way to go. The next item on the list, Corey, is a tool organizer. Is that, are we talking about a toolbox? Yeah, hundred percent. Toolbox, a wall mounted toolbox. Makita's got this new setup that uh, is on wheels. And has all of these accessories and toolkits. Yeah, they see this. They're they're tool boxes that stack together, stacks on top of a sort of uh, wheeled um, mobile device. Yeah, that allows you to to wheel them around. Um, they have clear top cases, black top cases, and they all snap together. You can actually snap a case on top of another case, and still open. The lower case with the top case attached to the lid. Wow. Yeah, very cool. It is quite the uh, quite the list of of storage solutions. Snap case. It's yeah. one of my favorite bands, actually. Snap case. Snap yeah. case. I'll play some for you. You'll hate it. I hate it probably. Uh, next one on the list, Tony, is a heavy-duty extension cord reel. This is one of those things that I have in my garage. I think you have one, too. I have mine hung from the ceiling down to a level that I could just reach up and grab it, and it's like a a power outlet 
like a multi-tap power outlet on an extension cord that's always at the ready. Mm -hmm. And when I pull it, it coils right back up and it's off the ceiling and I don't have to worry about tripping over it or coiling it up. It is one of the best things any shop should have as an accessory. Yes. Uh, just so that, just to go back one step back, Mac pack, that's what it's called. Oh, that's the, the Makita, Makita storage solution is called Mac, Mac pack. pack. Very cool. At a store near you, it's brand spanking new. At a power lumber store. Near yeah, I mean, we are actually going to be shooting a video with that product. We're going to be uh, featuring it and talking about it. Oh, and yeah, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good one. I'm excited to get my hands on it. Me too. Okay, the next item on the list, Corey, is a, a set of sawhorses. A set of sawhorses. I really like collapsible sawhorses. I have different sets of sawhorses. I'm going to be completely honest here. There are sawhorses that are very chintzy, cheap, that you wouldn't want to put a lot of weight on, that are collapsible, that are still great for some things. And then I have set of, a set of sawhorses made by Trojan that you could put easily 4,000 pounds on. You could park a car on these sawhorses that I have. So I have both. The one super heavy duty, if I know that I need the weight limit to hold up whatever I'm trying to bring up to waist level. And then I have the other ones that lie flat, they fold nicely, and that's, I would recommend both. If the Weekend Warrior you have doesn't have any, nobody's going to nobody's gonna cry about a nice new set. Absolutely. Of saw horses. I feel like we got to go backwards one more time. Oh, yeah. What did I call it? Mac. I don't know. I called it a Mac Pack. Mac Pack. But it's Mac Track. That's correct. It's Mac Track. Mac Track. I mean, I just want to make sure that I that I keep that clear. It's like this Mac Truck. Yeah, this, Man, this is cool. The Makita Storage Solution is called Mac Track, and uh, it is a very very cool kit, a uh, storage solution. Yeah. Um, I agree with you on the sawhorse thing. I feel like it, it very inexpensive to build a sawhorse out of wood. But having one that collapses and stores easily is definitely the way to go. Yeah. And um, pay very close attention. If you go to a store like Par Lumber to buy a set of sawhorses and they're in a box, make sure you confirm that oh, yeah. it's two sawhorses. Oftentimes they will, people, Par even, will sell a single sawhorse in a box. And... Um, you think to yourself, oh, sawhorses. No. Right. Like Trojans, for example, come in a pair of sawhorses. Right. But together, they make one sawhorse. Right. So you would need two. It comes two sets of legs, which yeah. is four legs. That's one horse. And you need two horses. So you'd have to buy two boxes if you were buying a Trojan. Now, those sawhorses are extremely strong. Like, yeah. there are four. I'm not sure that there's anything out there that that matches their capability, but they they are expensive, uh, more expensive, and um, and they sell one in a box. So just make sure you confirm that you're getting two two horses. One horse is oftentimes not do what you need it to do. Be ready to spend about a hundred bucks a horse, right? And you have to provide your own wood, and it holds thousands of yeah, pounds, literally thousands. Very 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 strong. And up until recently. They were made in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. I think it's good. They, it uh, is a good product. They got bought out by Acme Tools, I believe. That's a good, good product. Trojan Manufacturing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, back to the list, Tony. Let's jump into safety gear. Oh, Sa yeah. This safety is gear is one of those things that every weekend warrior needs. And one of the best ones on the list, noise-canceling headphones. Absolutely. That operate as ear protection, but then also connect Bluetooth to your phone so you can listen to music or talk on the phone but you don't have to take them out when you're operating your saw yeah they may, the ones that are really nice will allow you to talk to someone under normal circumstances so you don't have to take them in and out right and then leave them in for when you hit hit the saw they turn on it's kind of like uh, shooting headphones yeah i mean i i feel like that they make headphones now Corey, that Protect your ears from the damaging correct. noises. That is correct. But they allow the non-damaging sound to come through. Yeah. So they just block the damaging 
sounds. Yeah, it hits a certain decibel and it yeah. cuts out. Yeah, that makes perfect yeah. sense. Yeah, those are nice. Anti fog safety glasses. Man, there is. I'm I'm a sweater. It's I get hot and I perspire and I will fog up my safety glasses right now. Anti fog safety glasses is the only way to go. Yeah. And if you are wearing safety glasses and they start to fog up, you're going to take them off. You're going to take them off, and then your eyes are at risk, and you don't want that. So buy the ones that work in all situations so that you're not tempted to remove them from your head. Yeah. Comfortable anti-fog safety glasses. Work gloves. Yes. 100%. you got to have a good pair of work gloves. And not too bulky. Right. You want to be able to feel what you're working with through them. I agree you, with that. You don't want them to be able to get snagged up on something. Not... You know, they make gloves that are too big for your fingers, and you think, well, the bigger, the the stronger, but that's not the way to go. You want them to be form-fitting to your fingers, tight, so that there's no hanging out, and you're not losing them. Mechanics. That's a brand. Oh, yeah, Mechanics. that is a good, yeah, that's a good-looking glove. They, sure. they make good gloves. Mm-hmm. I would recommend those. You can't go wrong with them. All right, Tony, let's move on to some stocking stuffers. There's a few items in here that uh, we didn't cover up earlier that i think are just really good little small items yeah the first one says pencil set right but what i hear is haltafors haltafors yeah it's a brand they make you've seen them if you watch our youtube channel and our videos we use them a lot it's a mechanical pencil that uses very very thick lead yes that it's it's a basically it's a contractor pencil it's but got it's a, mechanical. Yeah, it's got a pocket clip, so yeah. you can clip it, and it's got a case, sort of, a, no, a sheath that the pencil goes in, and the sheath fully equipped with a sharpening device. Yep. So you can- awesome. Yep, if you snap it off, you can sharpen it right back up again, and uh, you won't be constantly having at a wooden pencil with your box knife. Yeah, and the other thing is they make are different color LEDs. Yellow, blue, red, red. Yep. graphite. So if you're trying to mark up different things- Yes. Totally awesome. It is a very cool tool. The weekend warrior in your life will love it. Yep. Uh, next one, this is a mini level. Torpedo level. Yep. A little pocket-sized torpedo level. I like the ones that got a little magnet on them. Oh, yeah. So I can stick it to the side of my Absolutely. toolbox. Absolutely. Great tip. Absolutely recommend getting a mini level. Next one, list, Tony, is, <laughs> funny enough, duct tape. Yes, duct tape. Duct tape obviously is... Um, uh, not really a tool necessarily because it is, because it is expendable. Yes, but you use it and it goes away and then you have to replenish it. It's, but you kind of use it as a tool. It does sound silly. What's it? What's a nickname for duct tape? Hundred mile an hour tape. Yep, hundred mile an hour tape. That's a good one. Yep. If you were to give it to a weekend, if my wife got me a roll of duct tape and put it in my stocking, stocking yeah, I would love it. Yeah, it sounds silly. But a good roll of duct tape is going to run you at 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, I actually have a roll of duct tape, believe it or not, in my desk drawer that's probably been there for um, a, a couple of years because I just use it a little bit at a time. Yeah. But it's camouflage duct tape. Yeah. This duct tape is the stickiest duct tape I've ever used in my life ever. Gorilla brand. Gorilla, you know, Gorilla Glue? I think this is Gorilla brand. Gorilla brand duct tape is super awesome. It is super sticky. It tears nice. Yeah. Anyway, we could talk I about like, duct tape yeah, all day. Yeah, duct tape. Love duct tape. Perfect. It's a perfect stocking stuffer. Next one on the list, Tony, is a utility knife. Yes. You can never have too many nice utility knives. The brand of utility knife that I put my mark of approval on is an Irwin. That Irwin, it's ergonomically correct. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, and uh, you can... Up at the top, you can slide the switch to one side and you can replace the blade without having to open the knife up. And, mm. you know, it keeps um, it keeps replacement blades. It's got a little caddy for replacement blades inside there. And you just swing the little thing out, pull the blade out, slip it in the top, and you're going again. Nice. Yeah, it is a nice, nice tool. Irwin. 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 It's like the old Stanley ones you have to use a screwdriver to open it up. Yeah, you don't want one of those. In half. Those things are terrible. They're not terrible. I mean, they're, they're high quality. They're not user friendly. They're not as convenient to change the sure. blades. Sure. Yep, absolutely. But again, along that line, Tony, with the utility knife, a hundred pack of utility blades. Yes. Absolutely. Yep. Buy a hundred pack of utility blades 
Even they if will you, last yeah. forever. Even if you end up taking the blade out and using it, just the blade in your hand, which yeah. I have done a hundred times. Yep, me too. Having the blade, having a, a utility blade on hand is uh, priceless. I yeah. bought a hundred pack for my garage. Five years ago. No, probably longer than that. I would say 12 years ago. Yeah. And I am just now getting to the bottom of that. You always know there's a blade there. Always. Yeah. Because I bought it's a hundred pack. It's a great feeling. Yep. And that's gone. that's gotten me through... What four remodels? Yeah. So, well, we got that. They're gonna be happy. Down to the bottom of the list, we just got two items left. Two items, and this is it. Bonus ideas. Yeah. A subscription to a DIY magazine or workshop classes. That's a great idea. Yeah. This old house. I know you have a I warm, t- you have a place in your heart. Well, I have a subscription. This old house, or uh, or woodworking classes. That's a great idea. Absolutely great idea. My generation or or my love for woodworking and working on my house and learning to do things by myself stemmed from this old house and norm abrams i love that yep absolutely love that and the last item on the list the very last item of course is a gift card to par lumber (laughs) where your diyer in your life or your weekend warrior can buy whatever they want yep and the reason it's not the last item on the list I'm not a big fan of gift cards. Yeah. I'm, it I've seems so been, impersonal, right? It really does. I've never been a fan of gift cards just because, yeah, here, be, get what you want. Right. You know? But just to wrap this up and put a cute little bow on it, would you rather have a gift card than nothing? Oh, of course. Okay, there you go. That's why it's on there. It's just if a, you just can't item. figure out what to get, get a gift card. That's right. All right, All this right. was a good show. I feel like uh, I feel like we gave the the viewers of the listeners something really good to think about, some good items to choose from. We have a lot of good ideas on here. If you are listening to this and you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, they should have said this," let us know. Yeah, email us weekendwarriors at par dot com. That's p a r r dot com. Uh, go check out our YouTube channel. We're at ww home show. You got we're putting videos up on there again we were working on a project for the last year and uh, now we're back to putting videos up on the weekend warriors channel so make sure you go like and subscribe that if you know someone shopping for a weekend warrior needs some christmas gift ideas or if you're a weekend warrior send this to your uh spouse let them listen to it absolutely like and subscribe we'll catch you next time thanks so much for listening have a great week